Hey guys, this is Deshanta B and I'm coming at you today. I can never know where to look, so my eyes are gonna be moving. Um, happy Saturday. I'm coming at you today with a story time. Uh, at the time that it occurred, I didn't find it funny, but uh, you, I find it funny now. And hopefully you might too. To all my new subscribers, welcome to the DB family and I hope that you enjoy the ride. And to my DB family, debonair and beautiful, you already know how I feel about you. You are so greatly appreciated. Okay, guys, I'm going to jump right into the story. This story happened many, 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 many years ago. And let me first state that I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. And I loved it because I was like right in the middle of everything. Meaning that there was so many different communities. You had your... 15 minutes one way, you had your Latino community, you had your Jamaican community, your Trinidad community, your Jewish community, you had, I mean, your Indian community. It was like a melting pot. And I loved it because although we're all different, we're still the same. And I loved the differences. I love being able to just walk 15 or 20 minutes in one way and be in a completely different community. It was like it was a different world. So by me saying that, this particular friend of mine, his family was from Trinidad. And so that you don't come at me, disclaimer, I am not making fun of anyone. I'm just trying to tell you the story exactly the way that it happened. And if I don't get the dialect right, don't come at my throat, okay? But um, I'm gonna give it a try. So guys, you already know, I've always worked two and three jobs. So my friend gave me a call and he was like, look, he always called me Yankee. I don't know why he would do that. It would get on my everlasting nerve, but that's what he did. He was like, listen, Yankee, listen, my grandmother is, you know, having a dinner. I want you to come. You're always working. You don't take no time out. You don't take no time out. So I said, you know what? Lucky for you, I am home tonight. I said, and I am hungry. Okay, bet. I'll go to the dinner with you. So get to his grandmother's house. I had left my car by his house and we rode in his car so we get to his grandmother's house he said it was a small dinner just a little get together okay it was about 30 40 people there lot number one all right so cool i can adapt not a problem get inside the house was beautiful the table spread was beautiful in her formal dining room i kid you not if that woman did all that cooking wow and she had such a table spread now let me tell you what i know about island cooking and i'm gonna group them all together i know curry goat curry chicken um beef patty with cocoa bread cocoa bread with the cheese um roti and doubles uh callaloo acri palau just that's basically that's all that i know okay so get to his grandmother's house she has all of these different foods on the table that a lot of them, I didn't know what they was, but I saw the rice and peas or peas and rice, however you want to say it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to just feast on that for the night because I really, with all the allergies that I have, I really don't know, you know, what to eat. And it just so happened that they sat me down in front of this platter of fish with their eyeballs still in place. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be a problem. So what I did was I kept piling up my plate with the rice and peas so that I couldn't see the uh, fish eyeballs. Okay, you with me? Okay, so everyone comes into the room. Now when it's one or two of the um, Jamaicans or Trinidadians together and they speak slowly, I can understand what you're saying. But when you have 25 and 30 of them all together and one is saying ting and one is saying or me bomba clad and all of this stuff, I don't know what you're saying. So I'm sitting at one end of the table and his grandmother is sitting at the other end. So she's just looking at me. So I made up in my mind. I said, okay, you don't know what half of them are saying. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna smile and shake my head. You know, if someone says something in my direction, cool. Okay, the night is ending. Everybody's starting to um, disperse. You know, everybody's going into different rooms of the house. And I noticed that his grandmother is just staring at me. I mean, she is mean mugging me like. So 
So I'm like, uh, okay, what did I say? What did I do that I don't know that I did or I don't know that I said that has this woman staring at me like this? So the rest of the night, everyone's leaving now. So they go and they hug her and she hugs them back and they kiss and all this stuff. So it's my friend's time and my time to leave. So go up to his grandmother and she hugs and she kisses him. So I go to hug her and she goes, huh. So I'm like, whoa, what did I do? Now, mind you, the whole night I'm just sitting at the dining room table. I'm not, no one's engaging in a conversation with me, okay? So we get into his car and normally he's like Mr. Chatterbox. He's always, you know, D this and D that and Yankee, Yankee, Yankee. So he's quiet. So I'm like, wow, whatever it is that I did, maybe, you know, I ate too much peas and rice. But I don't know what the story is. I just know that she is pissed to festivity with me. I'm like, maybe she don't like me because I'm not from Trinidad. I, I didn't know. All of these ideas is going through my head. So at the third light, he says, Yankee, why you say that to me, grandmother? So I'm like, what? Why did I say what? Listen, my grandmother took me in the kitchen and she told me, she said, you bring that woman here and that woman tell me to my face that she a prostitute. So I said, what? So I didn't want to laugh at the time when he said prostitute and he said grandmother. But at this point, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. What are you talking about? So he said, my grandmother said she asked you three times. Do you work at night? You work at night. You're the lady of the night. Are you the lady of the night? So I said, I thought she was asking me, did I have a job at night? And I said, yes, I have two jobs. So he said, oh, oh, Yankee, it's a big misunderstanding. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my grandmother got it wrong. I was like, yeah, she got it wrong. Yes, she did. So at this point, I'm getting heated now. Okay. So I'm thinking and I said, you know what? stopped the car he was like what 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 yankee what yankee i said turn this car around we're going back to your grandmother's house he's like no no she put up for the night she have on a nightgown she going to rest no she did a lot of cooking i said well she gonna put up down across or whatever because we're going back because i take my integrity and who i am very seriously and we're gonna go back so we get this straightened out i said i'm not gonna be able to sleep so he said no yankee we go tomorrow i said okay i tell you what you drop me off by my car I'm going to drive back because I know where your grandmother lives. I said, you don't understand from the type of family that I'm from. We take our personalities and family and all of that very seriously. So he said, okay, okay, okay. So we drive back to the grandmother's house. So he's on the top step and I'm on the side of her house. Rings the doorbell. She comes out. She goes, eh, 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 Sonny, what happened? What happened? And she gives him a kiss. And then she turns and she sees me and she goes, hmm. So I was like, I'm sorry to come back. He said, no, 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 let, let me talk to her, let me talk to her. Let me tell her, let me tell her, let me tell her. So like I said, when it's one or two talking and it's very slow, I can understand what you're saying, especially if your dialect, your, your accent is really thick. So he, you know, he's explaining it to her. So finally she looks at me and she goes, well, me guess me could be wrong, but me know you're not no prostitute. Cause you don't have no body you don't have no breasts you don't have no backside no in your all face no man gonna pay for face no man just going to pay for a pretty face that's all he is a face a face so i'm like uh is that an apology is that you know we un I understand then she goes didn't me go on my room me check my jewelry me know you're not no teeth no so <laughs> At this point, I'm like, this woman got one more time to insult me. Then she goes, didn't me know me walk past you. Me know you're clean. You smell good. No prostitute look and, and do all those things, you know? So I'm like, uh, look, look here. So he goes, uh, we about to leave. We're going to go because, you know, me know you want to lay down. Me, me sorry. Me should have called first. So she's like, no, it's okay. It's okay. So she said, listen, she said, in three weeks, me going to have cook up. Me want you to come. It's for my daughter's birthday. Me going to teach you how to cook rice and peas since that's all you eat. You don't like my food or the food me have on the table. 
So I'm like, um, no, it's not that. It's just that I have. She said, me don't want to hear. Sure, man. Listen, you come back. We're going to teach you how to make peas and rice. Rice and peas and some party. Okay? Listen, me go now. Me tired. Next time you call before you come. Okay? Especially this late. Lord have mercy. Me going. So, we get back in this car. And I'm heated. I'm like, this woman insulted me from A to Z and back from Z to A. So I'm like, okay. So I get in my car and I drive all the way back to where I live. And he's calling me. All week long, he's calling me. And I'm not answering him. And he's leaving messages. My grandmother says she want to see you. She's going to teach you how to make cook up. And when I finally saw him, I was like, look, you know what? With all due respect, you and your grandmother can, you know, that's what y'all can do because I really, really don't have any words for the both of you. So guys, I finally saw her maybe like a couple of months later and she came up to me and she gave me a hug. We was out in the street and I guess that was her way of saying that, you know, the situation got out of hand. But what I learned from that guys is when you go out to dinner and the people that you're around don't speak exactly the same language that you do, take an interpreter take someone that can tell you what they saying about you before it gets out of hand all right take some chalkboard right you know get one of them etch sketches in and write down you know look i am not a prostitute you know but it wasn't funny then but it's funny to me now she has crossed over and hey guys my camera cut off again but um let me fix this because yes i can see behind me while i'm talking to you guys um I later found out why she asked me those questions because his girlfriend that he had, she, you know, was questionable. You know, I guess the way that she carried herself and the way she acted around his family, she just was like, uh-uh, I'm going to ask everyone that he brings in here. And I saw her later on in the street and she gave me a big tight hug and she was like, I still want to show you how to make patty and stuff. But she's crossed over now and I'm quite sure uh, she probably thought about it and laughed about it too. But guys, you know, I just want to say to all of the uh, differences that we have, I love them all. My Latino community, my Indian community, my uh, Jewish community, all of, all of you that have taken the time to watch Deshanta B's videos. I just want to say thank you and that I love you all because I love the differences I just wish that the rest of the world did and we would be okay so on that note guys I just want to say this to you I have to do my Facebook uh, spiel uh, subscribe like and share this video give it a thumbs up if you like it if you like the story times let me know in the comment section or you could write to me um, to my PO box and I will definitely respond hopefully soon guys as soon as I can get this internet and my camera situation together I can get back to having a regular schedule with my videos um, as a matter of fact the last video that I just posted it took me 29 hours guys I don't know what's going on but I'm in it I'm in it to win it and I'm definitely gonna keep pushing until I get these videos up so guys hey you know what time it is stop playing bye guys